and we're back here with you guys, of course. Um, that was our round two feature match. It, it felt yeah. a little like uh, Giulio was winning the first game. Um, th I think he he was he was very winning. Yeah, and it, then it seemed like he was far far away. Far far away, yeah. Uh, ahead, and yeah. Um, suddenly, yeah. It was like Gabriele a really was strange turning the tables. Basically. Yeah, it was like a really strange kind of horse race. He just he was out the gates, absolutely got right. his combos. And uh, Ga Gabriele watched the Olympics, of course. Watched what Usain Bolt is doing, who's yeah. rarely the first out of the block, but always the first at the finishing line. Yeah, exactly. And, and he this just is kind exactly of what happened right sat there. Sat back, and then it was very much turned um, around to smile for the camera. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Uh, Gabriele was kind of you know got back into it a little, and then. It looked like Julio, with being able to use some of his uh, Metal Force engine, mm. was be able to you know get back into it just by having. I think it's Ori Hulk. I want to say it's Ori Hulk, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and yeah, we didn't have it on the app, so it was yeah. hard to tell. I mean, uh, yeah, Hor Ori, 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 yeah, Ori Hulk. I guess it was. Yeah. Yeah. So and then and then um, eventually the straight back to Gabriele again. Yeah. As soon as he was able to deal with that Ori Hulk and. So uh, did we? Re we didn't really see any cards from the side decks as well. The the second no, not, not second really. game was over even no, faster Tif than the first. Tifone is the only uh, you know typhoon. Yeah, typhoon. It's the only card we saw um, for Gabriele, but it wasn't kind of a huge, um, you know, it wasn't a huge turning point right. or anything like that. It second was game was less of a roller coaster ride. The, the first yeah, the the second game I think uh, it's pretty it's straightforward. Yeah, let's let's not sugarcoat it. Um, Julio just couldn't play his cards. Yeah, because and is is that um, the general shape of the um, Metal Foes Young Sing or do you think the deck can do a lot more than what it just showed us? Um no, I think I think that's a that's maybe a once once, twice, possibly three times per tournament mm -hmm. kind of kind of hand. Because that was basically nothing. He yeah. just had a full hand of Yang Zing monsters. I mean, you know, he's playing at least like fifteen Yang Zing monsters, so right. that's gonna happen. Um but you know, even just having one Yang Zing monster and one Metal Foes monster mm -hmm. really you know, changes how that hand worked. He had no Metal Force cards. Although, I mean, in the first game, if, if I remember correctly, it didn't look at the very beginning that he had such a good opening until we saw, oh, wait a second, now he's got... Yeah, because I, I completely forgot about um, Jiao Tu. He could, he could just, you know, basically search that from his deck because, right. of any, you know, any Metal Force plus a Yang Zing means any of the Yang Zing monsters. And then he just... He from to have from two, then, yeah. he, he went bigger and bigger and bigger yeah. until they had like uh, three big monsters on the field. If yeah. you screenshot that and show it to somebody, they would always be like, oh, okay, he's got that game in the back. But a yeah. bit too early. Yeah, Gabriel managed to just grind it out. And yeah, he did. Just, and you know, remove all of uh, Julio's resources. That is, of course, what Burning Abyss does best. <laughs> yeah, like, there's no question that's about it. Definitely, uh, definitely correct. <laughs> 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 all right. Um, so... It, it does seem Metal Foes Yang Sing is a new thing. Is this deck going to get stronger uh, with the new uh, Forbidden and Limited list? I think so, yeah. I mean, well, specifically this matchup, we would have seen a lot of the stuff that Gabriele did would just not be possible. Yeah, with uh, Beatrice taking a hit. Yeah. And then uh, less searches. Yeah, a little bit of less consistency mm -hmm. as well. So yeah. um, do you think that Burning Abyss is not going to disappear from the map entirely? No, I think with the changes that were made, there, there's, there's definitely the possibility yep. of BA sticking around. Okay. <laughs> it's it's a nicer way of saying I expect it to still to do well. Yeah, I I think it will still do well. It's you know, um, if, okay, so if if we're if we're asking the question, okay. So uh, but the thing with Burning Abyss is that um, their their power play, now we're their, their their power play that they have is um, is the Beatrice, Beatrice, and then if you deal with the Beatrice, you have to deal with Pilgrim. Um, and if you, you know, you can constantly just do that loop, Dante, get Circe, get yeah. Dante, back and forth, back and forwards. Oh, dump a Beatrice on, dump it. Each time you're just like, oh, here's Beatrice again, can you deal with it? You can. Oh, okay, well, I'll, Not just, a problem. I'll use my Dante's effect to get Sir back, and Sir's going to yeah. get my Dante, which I'm going to put a Beatrice on. And you just keep doing that whole thing. And if they it's manage to deal with... It's also fascinating to watch, as you guys can tell. Yeah, and if you, if you manage to deal with three Beatrice, then, then you can finally... Start playing. Start playing. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, exactly. Whereas with one with one Beatrice, um, is it's it still possible. You can play. Now, this is this is crazy to say right now, but Jar of Avarice. Mm -hmm. It's not a card people play, but it's very possible that people are going to start playing it in Burning Abyss just going so forward. Just so they can return Beatrice. To yeah, the... just so they can put Beatrice back, um, or, or you know, cards of that sort. Yeah. You know, putting putting Beatrice back. That, that, that 
they have so much value for you that you do not mind losing a card, yeah. and putting them back in. Yeah. The so the, the way that I see Burning Abyss right now is that um, they kind of what the regular level of play would be. They're they're already above that, so they're not necessarily getting dropped below where 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 they would be out of the meta. Mm -hmm. They're kind of being brought in line with with what All some right. of these yeah. uh, newer decks as well as you know stuff like you know we're seeing yang zings being put into the metal foes deck right, and right. you know blue eyes coming in it's kind of that's how i see the venue okay deck. well it so sounds good yeah. like it, it sounds like it's gonna um a good foundation for a very diverse meta game yeah e yeah exactly i mean e even even today we've you know we've not seen uh two of the same deck yet and that is true yes Al it, although it's just round two yeah but still but you know it's uh, but still yes but yeah like last year we we had Necros clowns in almost every single feature match, or should also at least. We, d we did have a lot of those, yeah. Yeah, so that's definitely true. No clowning around this year. <laughs> yeah, one of the most beloved uh, comments. People, you can actually see that on the final feature match where people are like, "Oh, this was the best comment of the entire thing." <laughs> I miss it so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Is there any other takeaway from this first match where you like? Mm, I guess if you would have uh, played this other card, it could have made all the difference. Something yeah, I think, like that. Um, so we we Ultimaya Zalkin. You know, everyone who's who's watching, you know, should go and look up Ultimaya if they don't know what what it is. And if you do know, then you know that immediately the next card I'm going to talk about is Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a super strong card that you can summon with um, with Ultimaya, and you know, it has really difficult summoning conditions otherwise. Um, yeah. You know, the Blue Eyes deck can summon it, but it has to kind of, you know, Spirit Dragon into Michael and Michael into another Tuna monster to be able to get it. So it's kind of difficult to summon, but if you do it with, uh, with Zulkin, it's free. Yeah. In my quotes, free. Right. So <laughs> Free enough. Free enough, yeah. Exactly. And then, you know, Ultimai sticks around because you got a Synchro Monster on board. Mm -hmm. It's just, that's the kind of players that, that I would expect to to see, you know, if if you let's let's say let's say this guy uh, had soul charge right at the end of the, the the big combos that he was doing, you know, that's the kind of super extension that you would yeah. see. That's ultimately unbreakable. Bob. Right. If if you that yeah. kind of stuff, you know. And uh, regarding the the burning a bit of Phantom Knights burning a bit stake, is there something that you would have played differently, or is it something that's missing? You think this is I'm the not, ultimate version? No, I think I think um, a lot of people have kind of refined mm -hmm. the 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 phantom knights uh, burning a bit their play style yeah just well just every, you know generally the lists that people are seeing it's it's very refined now people mm. play th this 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 list that we're seeing right here is very common okay with you know the, it's a very the, evolved time proven deck yeah it's one of those so you know like w when we had um uh the pepe deck mm -hmm. the the performer pal Perform age, yeah, yeah, yeah. perform yeah. age, but yeah, well, whatever it was, <laughs> um, that one, it was kind of had a couple of meanings. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there, it, there was always multiple ways of it saying it. It always fit. Yeah, exactly. You could, um, like, by the time the deck was even out, there was already a single amazing list of it. Okay. So I feel like we're getting to that point now with with the. The Phantom Knights burning. Everybody mistake. knows like the ideal version of all of these. Yeah, things. Or at least what what a lot of people mm -hmm. are seeing as ideal. You know, there's right, always right. people who always disagree, disagree, but yeah. but you know, I think, I, you know, not playing any of the Phantom Knights trap cards is a you know is you know obvious for the TCG anyway. Right. Um, you know, multiple twin twisters to be able to deal with the Pendulum decks and any kind of you know any kind of back row decks if, if right. you're playing as cards demise decks, um, and then speed roids. The, the, that's a correct amount of um, Phantom Knights three, two, one, and then you know just a bunch of yeah, burning the, abyss monsters. Um, the anti spell fragrance in the main deck. Interesting. Yeah, choice. I think that's I think that's that's probably the only really interesting unique. choice yeah. that I would see about this deck. But a lot of people are starting to do it now. Well, yeah, because pen, pendulum is kind of pendulum's the one to beat. Yeah. And even against blue eyes, you, it's not useless. Yeah, the it's only deck you don't really care too much about being anti spell fragranced is Burning Abyss. Of course, yeah. So if you know, I mean, if you are playing it, of course it makes sense that it doesn't really help you in the mirror. Yeah, much. yeah, that's the that's the that's the the, the point. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's obvious that's why. Then, it's playing then it. again, there are cards like Vanity's Emptiness that still can play around in the mirror. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. that's basically it. That's for my burning abyss rant. Th that was a lot of <laughs> analysis. Well, thank you very much for yeah, the for no. the insights uh, yeah. because I, I'm pretty certain that some people that haven't been looking into these decks that much um, yeah. have learned a thing or two. Um, so, so yeah, hopefully, <laughs> and you can always use that knowledge and apply it in different ways for the new 
format, of course. Yeah. It's, it's not like this is something that you only can use once. With that, guys, um, we're going to be back after we show you some some of the recorded content that we already prepared yesterday for yeah. you because even this year we were hard at work for you and then we're going to be back with our round one feature match of YC's Rimini 2016. <laughs>